bother his dad. Like, okay. So, whatever. See what happens. Too many things to say. The lion. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Give first. Um, da, 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 da. He had titles bestowed by the, the Chinese uh, government. He was also a justice of peace. I have no idea what justice of peace means at that time. Now I know what it means. Uh. Yeah. At that time, I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> like a magistrate, basically. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so enough of it. So, yes, cluster of um, about a dozen two, all related to him. So, uh, his wife um, is the sister of our number one man, uh, Pusha Wan. So that's his wife with him. Uh, right behind, very interesting. Uh, so two person on the, the right, our, uh, on our right, their left is his mom. So that's uh, uh, Mrs. Siu Kun. And uh, on your left, their right is Mrs. Siu Lei. So they are actually the wives of the two brothers, Siu Kun and Yu Lei. So it's very interesting, they have this combination uh, lying down there. Uh, they must be very close when they were still alive. Because uh, after all, the days where they passed away are also quite different. Yeah. I think they just put them together. Uh, there are a few so, cases of uh, women being buried together. Yeah. So, Mr. Uh, Siu Kun. Oh, you won! Come! Come! Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Siu Lei, his uncle was um, the founder of Lai, give me Tai Chi. Who are they? It's more of a genealogy, okay? People who do you all like, you know, family links. So this whole hill, have you explained this is called Si Tiong Hua Hill? Okay? So this is Mr. Si Tiong Hua and the wife. Behind them, which uh, Claire is talking, that is Mr. Si Yu Boon and Mrs. Si Yu Le. They, of course, they do have the name, but they are, Mrs. Si Yu Boon is the mother of Si Tiong Hua. It's his mother. And then, this lady here, uh, Mrs. Si Tiong Hua, her name is Ku Heng Liu. Same surname in English. Uh, his brother is very, very famous. Her brother is very, very famous. He's Ku Shok Wan, the only uh, imperial uh, scholar in, uh, Singap in Singapore uh, in 19, uh, probably 19, uh, 1920s or um, slightly before that. So, very, very famous. His home is also state and he's in Kilpo. It's not here, but uh, very important. Um, recently, I just visited his family. So, auntie's still around. So, um, he actually shared quite a lot. Uh, auntie, of, yeah, auntie. Maybe it's a... Uh, yeah. uh, Ming Chuan, you know, Ming Chuan is the daughter, daughter of Ku Ting Leong. Okay, <laughs> so basically, never mind. What I mean is, I visited them. Uh, some of the senior members of the family still around. So you just have to remember that because you can't remember me. But, but you also would know that, that lions were never. You know, never lions, here, yeah. never yeah. existed in Singapore. Yeah. Only the tiger. The closest that lions are here are in uh, what, the Merlion. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, lions of the endangered lions in India. They are Asiatic lions. But that's the, one of the rarest lions now. Mm. They are in Gia. The forest of uh, the state of Gia. 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 So, so this, uh, this gentleman, uh, is that what it is? The inscription is very different. So you mainly have the names of him and hers. And uh, they even put the date of when they passed away and the children's name on that. Okay. So, um, so, he, so this is him. Yeah, actually here, so I think that's one wife there, and that's one wife behind you, mm -hmm. and behind are his uh, parents, uh, so his grandfather had four wives. also had four wives, so mm -hmm. happening family. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, so this is, um, so, so here, here in Bukit Brown, we only dare to, to uh, actually to uh, highlight three style of um, song star, the Hokkien, the Teochew, and, and what we call the Neoclassical, uh, which is Kulanakan. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, actually don't know much about him also. Yeah. The Neoclassical was the one that was the core panel. Actually, no, uh, yeah, the Neoclassical. Yeah, we are going to see that as in the Tangyong Tian. Ah, Kinkit. Opportunities, right? The, the ports, the ships came out earlier. Hmm. So when they came to Singapore, for example, it's the second wave. That means they came through what is modern day Indonesia.
they came from uh, Sumatra and Java. Mm. Whereas when the, the Teochew ships came out, it was direct. Mm. So in that sense, he, he speculates that uh, as a result, the, the Teochews know where they came from. It was not an indirect route. There is no need to signify what all the, the villages and so forth. And those details might still be lodged with the clan association or the clan temple. So that's why there are few details here because uh, the family would go to the ancestral tablet in the temples or the clans. And when I visited Antichu, by the way, so I, when I went back to my hometown, the tombs are, are, are like this too, very simple. And, and they thought I was looking for an ancestor and they said go to the temple and look at the stone. So that's just to give you some background on the different designs and the different cultural context. Okay, let's walk along there. Hospitals, and towards the end, even to uh, Nanyang, Nanyang University as well. Okay. Um, he's, 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 uh, he's buried near his um, two wives actually. So behind him, um, that will be his first wife. Uh, and then that on, on the left will be the second wife. And uh, when the second wife passed away, he bought this plot for himself and family one more wife. Uh, the good thing about him is that he only got another woman when the, 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 the previous wife died. passed away. <laughs> so he's not like, you know, all mm. at the same time. La. So, but uh, interestingly, the, the, the third wife isn't here. Because by the time uh, she passed away, uh, this place has already closed. Uh, this place closed in uh, 1970. Serially so monogamous. Beyond that, you're mm. not allowed to have burials mm. here. So she's buried in, um, I think, in Chukang. So that's why, unfortunately, they are not gather now. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, his, his, his uh, tomb design is very modern mm -hmm. um, and uh, apparently a lot of the Tongmeng Hui folks, their tombs are quite modern uh, maybe because of the outlook. Uh, okay? So, um, enough details for us, that's about it. Uh. And uh, unfortunately also affected by the highway. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, we shall not go up there one because that one not affected. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so they're kind of like um, what do you call it? Title holders so that they they can help the colonial powers control their local population. Okay. So this gentleman here, um, Major what's his name? We is it? Uh, Major Wee Chin Yan, he's actually not from Singapore, he's from Bengali, which is in uh, Riau Archipelago in uh, Indonesia. So, what we have here, yes, so we have here her dwarf, sorry, her dwarf, this is actually Holland. And then we have uh, Jia Zhen, this is a major, okay, uh, so he's here. Um, we believe he's here because he was trying to recover from an illness la, which unfortunately he couldn't. La. He actually passed away from pneumonia at the age of 40-41. Okay. Um, there was once where I brought the tour and uh, the descendants were clearing. So, um, so what they say is they, they will not assume, but uh, they won't save this, la, even though this is quite, this is quite spe spectacular. La. Just uh, the, 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 the few words itself is unique enough, la, but the uh, descendant not really that keen. So here we are. So we'll just show you, and uh, maybe next month this won't be there anymore. Yeah, I'm sad to say. Mm. Hey, you want to make? Put your hand on your head. Okay. Uh, that's a personal thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, home, yeah. Too bad. You want to let the others come in? Yeah. Big Kimsu, yes, correct. You will come across a list of. Uh, Amazon size. Good. Oh. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay. I believe they are three sisters. Wow. Very top one, this one. So when we first uh, visited here, we can only we the, we can only walk around here and then stop here, stop here. So this is entirely covered. But we have reason mm -hmm. to believe this one is very beautiful. So, so what we did was we actually collected money, which I will do again later. Um, collect the money and then we all pull some money together and get two people to clear. Then we can see how beautiful it is. And indeed this is very unique. Now if you Google his name, um, you will come across a series of Amazon strikes um, selling his matchboxes. He's famous because uh, his matchbox is um, renowned. Okay? Matchbox is called LKS. 
um, E L K A Y E S, which is this in initials, Lee Kim Soo. Lee Kim Soo is a uh, wait, uh, okay. So he made his fortune initially selling um, latex cup. Because you know there are a lot of rubber trees, at the bottom is a cup. So he made a cup. So he made a lot of money. So then later he sells matchbox. He made a lot of money. Okay, so that's him. He is a Teochew pioneer. Uh, so this, this is very Teochew. The rest isn't. Um, he was one of the um, key members. Now, Xiao Yuqin at the beginning is, of course, one of the, the key members of the uh, yes, uh, Nian Kong Ti. I mean, Teochew group, the one that kind of works. So, but a, fra uh, uh, a fraction of them were not very happy because that Nian Kong Ti was controlled by the Xiao family. So they broke away, including this gentleman, to form the other another group called the Mai, Chaozhou Ba Yi Hui Guan. So this one, that, that group includes him, includes Yang Cha Heng, and a few other groups. So that's him. Okay, so that's him. Um, yeah, design wise, we always call this the Art Deco design. Yeah, uh, I don't know Deco. where it comes from. Mm. I know the railway yeah, station has Chicago. some features that are similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this yeah. thing. It does look like a bench box. It's yeah. not a bench box. And um, the other thing is that this one is wooden. Oh, yeah. oh wood. 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 So, but I think whatever is inside has been taken out already. But anyway, so. What was inside? No idea. Yeah. How come it can last so long? Uh, wooden. So, special wood. Uh. Mm. Yeah, mm. Well, amazing. Uh. Mm. Can we send this better? Oh, yeah. This one has like secrets. See, that's, your, that's your loved oh. one's tomb. Okay, war time to so it's really like that. La. When you have no money, this is how you do it. La. No name also. There might be, you know, but it could be yeah, fallen or something. So along here you see a lot of these really poor tombs. La. Yeah, better off or things. Again, Peter? This is a temple some, here. Still got some people not here yet. Huh? Oh, temple. <laughs> This is exhumed already. Okay. Apparently, the, 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 the tomb keeper tells me when they exhumed this particular one, the, the coffin was still intact. Huh? The coffin and the body are still intact. No, sorry, the body was still intact. Oh. So they have to bring a coffin in. Yo. So, uh, extra cost. Scary. Yeah, don't worry, don't the body no more. Okay, um, so, now folks like us, we like to come here and bash, and we look at names, and then we, if we're interested, we go online and search for them. So Peter is very hardworking in that sense that he will, uh, and it's more amazing because he can't read Mandarin. <laughs> so his poor wife has to do the translating. Yeah, so we have to thank his wife. Uh, and of course, then he would he would um, dig out information. It helps that he was a library, so he has access to information that we mere mortals don't have. <laughs> but, <laughs> but sometimes hey, he. But her print out is one dollar. Yeah, <laughs> not my problem, man. Yeah, but sometimes you know you dig out information, then I'll say. Not very interesting, eh? <laughs> it's true, uh, most of them bankers, yada yada, boring people, uh, right? Yeah. Then he came about this story, then I said, hey, this one must share. So that's why we're here now. Okay, Peter? So this person is Tan Chao Kim. Tan Chao Kim, you see the person now uh, wearing specs, right? Yeah. Don't play, play, sharp shooter. <laughs> he, he was one of the, he was Singapore's best uh, rifle, sharp shooter means with a rifle uh, and, and shooting on uh, stationary targets. So in the, uh, he was, he was an RI boy and then uh, late after he graduated, he joined, the Singapore, there's this thing called the Singapore Voluntary Infantry. It's created by the British so that young Chinese men can volunteer to be, uh, to be uh, uh, soldiers and they're, they're trained as soldiers. Lah. Basically when the British colonized Singapore, they, only, they, they came with not, not, not a lot of troops. So they, su they supplemented the troops with uh, either the Indian, the Indian uh, soldiers from India, uh, col colony soldiers, and also the supplementary volunteers, for example, the Chinese volunteers, and then much, much later, the, the uh, Malay, Malay volunteers. So Tan Chong Kim was uh, one, of, one of the volunteer soldiers, and um, <coughs> this gentleman, Mr. Uh, Sir Ong Sang Sien, Ong, Ong what? Uh? Ong Song Siang. Even written, uh, say that this person is an outstanding, outstanding um, uh, person mm. in terms of his professionalism for work as well as his volunteerism. So he was selected to be one of the uh, contingent from Singapore 
to be uh, to participate in this uh, shooting competition in in the UK. Mm. So he was the uh, I, uh, he was the I think he was the only Chinese one because the, the other other people from Singapore were actually Europeans based in Singapore. Mm. So when he went to Europe uh, for this uh, shooting contest called the uh, what Weekly, uh, Weekly, like Weekly, uh, Warren Shield and uh, the other one is uh, Weekly, yeah. Weekly. So uh, the, the the British the British press journalists in UK were expecting a chi China man. So the they, they, when they think of China man, they think of those with the Manchu outfit, the black one, a <laughs> long one, like like skirt one, then you know, big one, then with the long ponytail one. Yeah. Along came Mr. Tan Kim. He was there. Tan Chao Kim. Tan Chao Kim. What did I say? Tan Chao Kim. Tan Kim. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so he was. He 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 spoke <coughs> perfect English, uh, and was dressed in very Western outfit. They all said, "Cheers." They they were all they were all shocked, and then uh, they were expecting. Uh, Dramatizing. Yeah okay. So they were expecting someone in Man Manchu outfit, but uh, that that person didn't appear. So a very Westernized Chinese came who could speak perfect English. They were all very impressed. Uh, we hit and uh, uh, did they win first prize? Fifth, huh? Fifth, fifth prize. Okay, fifth which is not too bad. Yeah. yeah. So, but later on in life, uh, actually, there's not much story about him as a yeah. businessman. But you later on in life, uh, he, 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 his uh, his eyesight started failing, unfortunately. That's why you see him in this picture, wearing 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 specs. And then he died in. Yeah. 1953, age 70. Unfortunately, here the wife, the wife name is there, but uh, no, no, no date of death, so we don't know whether the wife is buried, buried him. So yeah, so often you hear stories about rich, uh, from rags to riches and stuff like that. But this one is another, another different side of the story where this guy was a sharpshooter. But just taking a look at this picture over here, you, you wouldn't know that he's a, he was a sharpshooter. Well. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so good. Uh. How many children? Uh, yeah. two wives. Uh, two wives. 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 Two wives.